just to avoid that bad matchup, very, very well played. Mm -hmm. But even then, like, Rosalina, I feel like, just does, like, a really good job of, once again, like, stopping a lot of long-range uh, link setups, especially with early boomerang stuff. So she definitely has all the mobility she needs to be able to get in on the buzz. But look how good his keep-away game is. His spacing already so far has been so efficient. I mean, spacing into Buzz always have gone hand in hand, whether it's with the Olimar, whether it's with the Rosa. It's just how he is as a player. And 63% already on the board for Delta is a little bit of an unfortunate situation, but actually is going to be able to kill Luma here. So that should be a little bit of an inroads to get themselves back up in this game. Or DeBuzz could just platform camp until Luma comes back. Oh, not enough hit advantage to be able to get a second Florida out of those strings. A Delta actually going to be dropping um, a lot of usually really big starters, like Florida. Um, so really not getting the most out of the damage right now. I like the idea to shield immediately in case DeBuzz press out of disadvantage, but not able to get it. And I mean, DeBuzz just does a brutal amount of damage with every single hit, sets up with Luma into that smash attack, and now try at a dangerous spot uh, in terms of percent, going to get caught by the up smash into the star KO, and that's the first stock taken of the set. Yeah, Sheik is always going to be so surprisingly light, but try getting a really big floor to the offstage, but DeBuzz just recognizing that he was so deep offstage that he could just double jump back onto safety, completely avoid the ledge as a result. And this is what DeBuzz is known for, like keep away defensive gameplay, just wait waiting for Luma to get back so that, you know, he can start executing his game plan again. Yeah, but, I mean, 78%, nothing to sneeze at, but Sheik's not going to be able to kill until a little bit later, especially on, like, a, a deceptively heavy oh. character like Rosalina and Luma, and you saw exactly what I saw there, Dara. Yeah, I'm not really sure why F-Smash 1 didn't connect into F-Smash 2, but, you know, that's besides the point. Uh, Delta, like, you know, with, like, a good needle, they could be able to get, like, an up-smash out of it. Uh, perhaps a bouncing fish, but what an edge guard! Really deep off stage gets the lingering back air to take to Buzz's first stock out and only 56, 61, 66. Well, it is building up now, but it's still not the end of the world in terms of extra credit as long wow. as Delta can hold on to this stock. But uh, the Buzz still doing a whole lot. Yeah, um, I, re I really like that recognition, by the way, from like Delta, just like, hey, this is a, you know, a character that really can't press any buttons when she's that deep off stage. This is the time to be able to go in, and you know, he was able to get the kill. As a result, the Buzz trying to get these Luma setups from across the stage, not going to be able to do so, but menacing nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been seeing too much of the Rosa from DeBuzz recently since the, the release of Min Min, but it, it's very clear that he's still very practiced, still very proficient, as we see with these Luma oh. setups into the smash attacks. Now Luma's back alive once again, so Delta yet again has to be on their toes, has to be very careful with it. DeBuzz's landings are so good. Did you see that landing bear? Yeah. But now Delta just trying to slow things down a little bit, charge up a bit of Needle. Now has DeBuzz sitting in shield, but he's fishing for Dash Crab a little bit too much um, as DeBuzz is just, once again, just playing outside of his immediate area of effect. Wow. Oh, and into the up air there for the kill. Delta on their final stock of this, uh, of this game. Might not be living too much longer. DeBuzz going for the Nair setup. I've seen him labbing that on stream. If he gets yeah. that Nair onto top platform, he will kill you at zero. So really good awareness from Delta to be able to get the shield up in time to be able to escape from that. Tries for the bouncing fish there. Can't get it. So the buzz like has such good ways to reverse the situation when he's off stage. He holds on to his double jump. He knows how to space his up air correctly. He makes it impossible for Ryu just to be able to ledge trap him or to frame him cleanly. He, he will just take every precaution that he can, and it, it has been paying off because when Rosalina is consistently getting back onto the stage, that's when you know like she is making excellent usage out of her off stage resources. Tries to use the up B to get out of dodge there into the F smash, but DeBuzz, despite the shield getting a little bit low, does manage to get it up in time, so still safe. Now mm -hmm. trying for the F tilt there, and this could be dangerous for Delta if they get caught. No. Ooh, Delta just trying to take a second to charge up. Needle, really good patience in the corner, but still able to get a full charge up. But no, not getting the bouncing fish after, as DeBuzz just ends up being a little bit too far out of reach. Luma doing a little bit of get down Mr. President to be able to save DeBuzz from that bouncing fish. Now coming back up onto the stage, DeBuzz looking for an air fair, gonna find it too. Who gets a down air setup, tries to set up a tech chase, maybe cover the tech goal, and is not gonna be able to do so. Delta really fishing for some of these F smashes, but you know what? That move is basically lagless, um, so you can just keep on throwing those out. 
<gasps> oh, and the Luma pop-up to Buzz tried to follow it up with the up air, but couldn't do it. Yeah. But it's still going to spell disaster for Delta as DeBuzz chases the great aerial, going to pick up that kill and the game. Number one in this best of three. I wonder if we'll see the switch up to Link come out. Yeah, um, I think that even like this was chic, like this is the kid thing that Delta specifically threw out just to try to kind of pick the buzz. Um, Link is definitely going to be the comfort pick going back into this, but it seemed like if you really don't have that mobility, even like as chic to be able to break space in on somebody like the buzz, Link is also going to struggle with that quite a bit as well. You know, like just maybe not always having the cleanest approach tools uh, that chic might. Yeah, and so we are going to see the, the Link come out indeed. DeBuzz sticking to the Rosalina and Luma, and I mean, for good reason. Very, very good character, even in yep. this matchup as well. Has the potential to kind of just remove a lot of what Link wants to do. Um, and Town and City is an interesting stage choice for this matchup as well. Potential for some really early kills from both characters. So I don't really think it's it's too much in one of their favor. Yep. Uh, but try right now just setting up shop on the other side of the stage, trying to get a couple of hits, crossing up the buzzer shield, but once again, not able to get too much started. I love that weight, but they really didn't like try to cover an option. They were not really sure what they were going for. I also love the fact that Try knows exactly what to do in this matchup and exactly what to do is focus on Luma. Kill Luma as soon as possible and remove yeah. that source of setups from DeBuzz, especially with a disjoint like Link's sword. Focusing on Luma is, is a critical portion of this and they know exactly what to do, but the grab there, not going to lead yep. into any follow-up. We're getting the up through into the up here now, forcing Delta to try to land from a really bad position, but gets nearly into forward smash. Um, sure. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that really connect like that, but hey, it did the job. Now trying to get a couple more nares to keep to Buzz boxed out, throwing down the bomb, trying to keep him, but Buzz still makes it back up onto stage and good use of the Luma there as well to avoid the edge guard situation. Once again, Delta just trying to use the bomb to cover him a little bit as the Buzz backs off, not trying to two frame that position at all. Gets a couple of hits on Luma, doesn't connect the final one that would have been able to do the job. But once again, I just love like how focused he is on getting rid of, uh, on getting rid of it. Now trying to catch the uh, Buzz on the ledge, good grab. But the Buzz gets the uh, gets the, sorry, the neutral B there, to, or not the neutral B, it's the oh. the down B, and oh, that's gonna be a kill. Yeah, the buzz like kind of the time ran out at the ledge. At a certain point, you know, especially like setup based characters like Link, they just cover <gasps> everything. That killed? Oh yeah, yeah. Rosalina down and popping you off to the side, more likely than you think. Uh it man, there was something about this game and susceptibly like strong down and late hitboxes. Yeah, the sour spot actually going to kill there now to buzz resetting back to neutral but at least for now delta still in a good spot the link looking a lot better than the sheik did keeping to buzz boxed out with the disjoints trying to chase with the up air there can't find it opts for bear instead and well this edge ledge guard could be disastrous oh but somehow slipping in between the hits of the upbeat the buzz is going to be able to get back onto stage to safety retreating back to center stage recognizing that he couldn't pin down delta for too much longer and look at this corner pressure look at the way that he's keeping the buzz pressured in the corner but uh that one pull uh button choice is what lets like the buzz get back on Trying to throw out the bomb there to stop him from getting onto the ledge, but it's not going to do a great parry into a grab, though, is going to reset right back where we started. But DeBuzz coming back up on stage, this grab could mean Ooh. disaster. Chasing with the bear onto the platform doesn't kill quite yet, but the dare chase will do just that. So DeBuzz comes from behind, picks up the lead, and now it's spelling disaster for Delta. Yeah, this is how it's look a little bit difficult for Delta. The buzz is going to be successfully uh, just using down B on bomb, which is such a good way just to be able to counter so many different link projectiles, just nullify a lot of his game plan. Um, and now we've seen Delta struggle to initiate, struggle to approach. The buzz in such a favorable position, but wow. Great chase. He was able Fantastic to, deck chase. He was able to hit through Luma and then hit the buzz for F smashing him. That's insane. Now, though, he is still getting chased onto the ledge, so it's not the best position. Lands back up on stage with the Nair, but immediately gets caught by the Rapid Jab. This should Ooh. be the game. No, DeBuzz mixes up and misses with the yeah. Nair. Delta like, delayed his up as much as possible just to give it that little bit of mix that he needed to make it as ambiguous as possible, but spending a little bit too much time in the corner of Town and City.